Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are trying out a variety of freeze-dried food made right here in Japan. Some of them are very interesting. We got things like beef stew, we got Newman noodles, we even got tempura over rice. This is amazing! So I don't know about freeze-dried food in your country, but here in Japan, we do have quite a lot of them. They're also very useful and convenient and helpful, especially when we have uh, lots of natural disasters here in Japan, you know? So th these are great for those times. Today, uh, we got some very interesting ones. We have six different uh, dishes to try, all freeze-dried and yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Me too, me too. Mm -hmm. now, some of them are regular, regular stuff. Uh, regular we can stuff. buy, yeah, we can buy anytime we want to at really? the supermarket. But some of them, half of them, are very special. Very special. That's right. So um, this should be interesting. So before we get started, we do have to say thank you to Boksu for once again sponsoring today's video. If you didn't know already, Boksu is a subscription service that delivers the best Japanese snacks to your doorstep. Every month they have a special theme. This month they're having Prefecture Passion. This gives you a taste of snacks from 12 different prefectures throughout Japan. We really love the snacks from Boksu. In fact, they make the perfect gift for anyone in your life that appreciates Japanese snacks and culture. But here's the big news. Right now, Boksu is having an amazing giveaway. Not only would you be gifting them Boksu, which is already amazing, but you'll also be gifting them the chance to win free tickets to Japan. They will be picking five lucky winners to win a free set of tickets and anyone who is subscribed before December 31st is automatically entered. Just use our code and link to become eligible to win the giveaway by subscribing to Boksu. Our code will get you 10% off your subscription. Terms and conditions and other methods of entry is listed in the description. We're gonna save the very unique ones for last. We're gonna start off with either the beef stew, the Newman noodles, or the cheese risotto. Which one would you like to start off with? Hmm, Newman first. Newman, a oh, great idea because it's kind of soupy. Let's open this package. Okay. This one, the flavor is sumashi yuzu. Yuzu flavor. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And it looks like this. Mm -hmm. You have this block. Block. Oh wow. my gosh. Look at that. Look, oh, look, look. You, you see the noodles. See the noodles. Through the plastic right there. Mm -hmm. So put into this bowl. There okay. we go. Mm -hmm. And on the package says, Pour 180 ml hot water. We're gonna pour hot water inside. Okay. 180 ml. And mix. Mix immediately. Immediately. Mm -hmm. Okay, do we have to let it sit? I don't know. Newman is a hot type somen. Somen, uh, usually we eat very cold type, cold mm -hmm. somen. Yeah, during the summer months. It's very yeah. refreshing. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. this one. It's hot, hot noodles. And this one has a lot of ingredients on the inside. Mm -hmm. There's some uh, eggs, there's shiitake mushrooms. I think it's spinach. spinach. I think. Mm -hmm. Ah, but it looks pretty good. Um, it's a pretty small serving, I have to say. Yeah. Uh, we've just split this into two, so we have very two small servings. But it looks good. And it smells good. Mm. Good hot spinach aroma. Yeah, okay, shall we try? Mm -hmm. Itadakimasu! Oh, oh, nice. Yuzu flavor. Mm. Dashi and the yuzu oh, flavor that? is really good. Oh, this is mm. good. This is really, really good. Mm. Some noodles. Mm. Yeah, lots of umami. It's a very light broth, but it also has a little bit of thickness yeah. in the broth. And because the broth is uh, not overly salty and it's on the light side, the yuzu flavor really comes out. Yeah. And the somen noodle. Mm. Texture is good. I think mm. it's mm. soggy. I expected. I I thought it's soggy. Yeah, it's not it's soggy not, at all. It's not. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. Just right. Yeah, and the shiitake flavor mm. um, is in the soup as well. This is good. Mm. This would be a very nice soup to go along with your bento. So next one is cheese risotto, Yum, tomato I flavor. Love I love risotto. Me too. I sometimes cook uh, risotto at home. Yes. And this one, 
pretty easy way. Right, you just put hot water in it. Check it out. This is what the the freeze dried block looks like. You see the rice kernels there. Mm -hmm. There's some bits of green. Okay, so we're gonna block this in here. You're gonna add in 150 mils of hot water. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to mix this up right away. Interesting. Oh, look at that. It like pretty much instantly dissolves into yeah. the hot water. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> okay, and we mix it. I, w I wonder if it's going to become thicker or is it going to remain watery like this? Do we wait for a while? But yeah, that's what it looks like. There's some bits of vegetables in here and I smell a little bit of cheese as well. Okay, so let's try. Let's try it. it smells good. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. the taste is good, but texture. Texture. <laughs> Nothing like a risotto. It's more like a rice gruel, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rice gruel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So maybe this one, if you want a less watery one, I'm looking at the picture, and the picture itself is watery. It's mm -hmm. more like a cheese risotto soup. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if you want it um, less soupy, maybe add less water. But taste is good. Taste though. is good. Yeah. Cheesy, tomato mm -hmm. mm. mm -hmm. mm. I never just. I love Lever. the taste. Mm. Yeah, the mm. taste is good. So next is beef stew mm -hmm. using five ingredients beef, mushroom, onion, carrot, and green beans. Okay, so this looks just like the, uh, the risotto one. It's about the same size as well. Mm -hmm. It looks like curry roux. It does. <laughs> it looks like a curry roux. So we're gonna plop that into that bowl. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add in the 150 mils of hot water. And then we are going to give this a mix. The package says to mix this well until it starts to thicken. Right now, you can see it's quite watery. But you can already see the mushrooms in there. I see some pieces of meat. Um, what else is that? Is that green peas? Yeah, peas. Carrots. Ah, there we go. It's starting to thicken up like beef stew. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it reminds me of um, mm. Hayashi rice. Mm. So, it's like yeah. a Hayashi rice. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I just had a piece of beef. Mm. It's a very thin slice of meat, mm. 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 but it's tender and it's, it's like real meat actually. It's very beefy. It has a very deep flavor as well. It actually kind of tastes like like a restaurant a little bit. Yes, yes. yeah, it does. Mm. Yeah, mm. it does. Mm. And you know, I, I guess I'm expecting a lot from Amano Foods because these are not super cheap. You know, for for this size beef stew, it, it, they're they're not like very cheap, are you? More than two hundred yen. More hundred to than two hundred yen. Mm. Okay. Actually, I just put some rice. In my beef stew. Oh, it's like a Hayashi rice. Yeah, it's like Hayashi rice. <laughs> I'm very curious. Mmm. There we go. This is the way you have to eat it. Oh, nice. You have to eat it with the rice. Oh. This is very easy way to eat Hayashi rice. Yeah. Very simple. Mmm. Anyway, mm. you. So next one is Oyakodon. Uh, this one is from Sanwa. Sanwa is a historical chicken dish restaurant. Really? Yeah. Wow. And in this package, there yeah, are two, two portions. I see. Okay, two portions of oyakodonburi. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you don't know what oyakodonburi is, oyakodonburi is basically chicken and egg over rice. Well, this one's actually slightly bigger, I think. I'm gonna pour 120 ml of hot water. Then we are going to mix this up until it starts to thicken up. And voila, you should get something similar to the one you eat at the restaurant. Yeah, well, I like it, was. It, it looks a little different though from mm -hmm. like what you have at the restaurant. But this is freeze dried. Mm. The flavor is mm. good. Mm. Mm. It's very good. Good dashi flavor with. Chicken, chicken mm. flavor, mm. a little bit sweet. Oh, it's chicken. Mm. And mm. egg. Egg is 
what should I say? It's soft. They're fluffy. Fluffy. It's light and fluffy. Mm. Yeah. Light and fluffy. Like yeah, how yeah. it should be. Mmm. 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 And right. like you said, the sauce is delicious. Yeah, really mm. delicious. It's like a sweet but savory soy sauce, and it goes really well with the chicken and the egg. I amazed. The freeze dry technology is pretty advanced. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, I prefer to eat this at the restaurant. However, like if you know we had a major earthquake and we had to. You know, we, 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 we couldn't go out for like a week and there was no food available at the store and we had these. This would make me very happy. Mm. Yeah. This one is Misokatsu. Misokatsu is a specialty of Nagoya Prefecture. Uh, misokatsu, usually uh, tonkatsu, you, uh, well here in uh, Kanto at least, we eat it by pouring over some tonkatsu sauce. But in Nagoya, they like to pour miso, a miso-based sauce over their tonkatsu and it's delicious though. Yeah, you gotta try it at least once. What I surprised at this one, mm -hmm. katsu is a solid meat. True. But this one is freeze-dry. Okay. How do they make this? How do they freeze dry the, <laughs> the solid piece solid. of meat? Yeah. <laughs> right, because um, the oyakodon, for example, usually if you eat oyakodon at the restaurant, you have like big chunks of chicken. But this one didn't have mm -hmm. big chunks of chicken. Mm -hmm. It had like very like, small slivers of chicken. So I'm very curious about this one. Okay, this one is obviously bigger than the previous ones that we've tried. So we are going to plop this onto this uh, plate. Mm -hmm. Look at that, it, how unappetizing <laughs> it looks. But we can see a katsu. You piece can? Of katsu. Yeah, here, this one. Is That's the piece of katsu, really? I think. You know, let, let me just turn it this way. Okay. okay, so we're gonna pour 80 mils of water. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wait a minute, do we mix it? Uh, uh, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. How do you mix it? I can't mix <laughs> it's it. It's solid. It's totally solid. This is super interesting. Um, yes, it's katsu. <laughs> yeah. At first, I, I, I was wondering, is this okay? Because there wasn't enough water. But I think that's because you don't want it all soggy. It needs to be crispy, like a tonkatsu. Tonkatsu is almost always served with uh, shredded cabbage here in Japan. Actually, mm -hmm. all the time. Unless you're eating it over rice, which is, in that case, it would be katsudon. Deoha, itadakimasu. Mm. 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 No, it's meat. No. Mm. It's meat. The outside, the koromo part mm. is still sakutto. This is exactly how the miso is supposed to taste like. It's a sweeter miso. I think it's called hacho miso. Did hacho miso. Hacho miso I in think Nagoya. So. Mm. Um, it tastes just like this. There's a little bit of a sesame seeds uh, sprinkled on the top. And there is a little bit of crispiness. I like this one a lot. It's so strange. It, it seems like this is <laughs> space food or something. Mmm. Oh, mm. so good. Mm. All right, we've come to the last one. However, this is the very special one. It's very special. Incredible. Ebiten shrimp tempura, ebiten tojidon. So tojidon means uh, coated with egg, mm -hmm. egg mm -hmm. mixture. Yeah. But it's tempura in freeze dry. Right. Okay, so this is another one of the bigger ones. This is about the same size as the miso katsu we just had. So we're gonna plop it onto oh, the plate. Look, I already ah. see the tail of the shrimp. Ah. That's one tail. That's the other ah. tail there. Wow. So let's wow. turn this over. <laughs> I'm nervous. I hope it comes out right. Mm -hmm. Mix about one minute. Mix about one minute. Mm -hmm. It's pretty hard. So it becomes softer during your pouring hot water. Okay. So all the hot water has been poured in. Don't break, don't break the shrimp. 
Don't break stream. Oh, that's right. I forgot all about the shrimp. Okay. Gosh. This is almost like cooking. <laughs> so, it's tempura, so shrimp is solid. Right. So, shrimp, shred, uh, solid. Right, I think it's ready. I think it's ready. Ready? Yup. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tempura, where's tempura? The tempura is here. Here. Like you said, I don't want to break it, so I'm not going to touch it anymore. Here's a tail. Yeah. Oh, put on rice because this one is tendon. Okay, I think I've um broken one shrimp, oh. but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. And here's the second shrimp. That oh, one's this intact. One is okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then. And they're gonna pour the rest of the the mixture on the side. Just that. Okay, so that's what it looks like. That's the finished product on top mm -hmm. of the rice. Mm -hmm. Two shrimp. You can clearly see the shrimp. Mm -hmm. And then usually uh, there is some mitsuba leaf on the top, so... Yeah, itadakimasu! So exciting! I've never eaten freeze-dry shrimp. Tempura. Mm. Tempura is good. Tempura is there. No, mm. it's good. It tastes good. It tastes good. This part... Dashi? Egg and dashi mixture? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Pretty the nice. flavoring is very, very good. Mm. Um, it tastes... Just like you would, you know, taste it at a restaurant. The only thing though, I, I do have to say is that the, the shrimp, well, you know, the texture is there. The texture is there. Maybe that, it's a little bit sakuto. It's yeah. the tempura butter. Right, 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 mm -hmm. right. That's true, that's true. And I feel like a picture looks better yeah. than the actual product. Either that or we made it wrong. But Taste is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Taste is pretty mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, if you think about it, making this dish at home is pretty time consuming. You have to make the tempura, then you have to um, make make the sauce, and you have to put it all together and then pour it over your rice. So, this is definitely an easier way to enjoy this dish. If I can eat under the emergency situation, mm -hmm. it makes me very happy. Me too. Mm -hmm. Even in the terrible situation. Right, right, right. Mmm. 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 I'm quite happy with that. Mm. Okay, so we've tried six different freeze dried foods. Mm. Um, which one was your favorite? My favorite one. Mmm. I know. I, I've already chosen. Yep. Okay. How, how about if we say our favorite at the count of one, two, three? Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we chose the same one. We chose the same one. The the ebi ten pura tochi don. The taste was good, but I'm a little bit unhappy with the texture. I, I feel like this needs to be homemade. The the miso katsu, sure. Uh, the the restaurant is better, but I thought that was kind of genius. How you can you still have the sakuto texture? <laughs> yeah. And you could you could actually chew into the meat, and the miso, the miso sauce is just like the sauce, just just like the taste I had in Nagoya. So, I like that one a lot. It's incredible for me. The mm. solid piece of meat become mm. freeze dry. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yeah. With that said, we hope you guys enjoy today's video. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bell. Thank you for watching. See you on next delicious video. Bye bye. Bye everybody.